Hey guys, welcome to Happy's Apple Orchard here. We're running a, an apple orchard here on UMRV. Uh, we've got a couple things here. We've got about a 200 apple trees planted and we've got a bunch of smaller equipment. We've got this big hay field ba out back here that we're going to be uh, mowing for some hay to sell to other farmers and just to sell for money. Uh, hopefully we can expand this enough to uh, make all of this here apple trees. That is the end goal. We have about 200 grand in the bank right now. And uh, in this series we are going to be also helping out Nate and doing stuff around his farm. We've got around 10 people in the server so it should be a lot of fun. All right, let's get right into it. All right, we'll go ahead and give you guys a quick equipment tour here. We've got all the Halloween decorations up as it is fall. Um, starting off from the shed here, we're probably gonna be storing most of our apples in here. We've got the John Deere 7800 with the uh, New Holland uh, square baler here. We've also got a Vermeer VR1224 rake. This uh, Pottinger tether. The New Holland 1411 uh, mower here, and then we got two hay racks. Moving on over to this other barn here, we've got our 1206 with our water trailer. We got to go out and water each one of these trees manually. And if you don't know how these apple trees work, go to the productions menu after you place them down, and you can see I've got quite a few apple trees in this production right menu right here. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. And uh, you have to go and turn each one on. You have to activate for every single one of these, which took me about 15 minutes. And you got to give each tree water. So every day I'll be going out with the uh, 1206 here, giving water to every tree. Surprisingly, that only took me about 30 minutes this morning when I was doing that. So it's not too bad. But then I'm pretty sure, I haven't tested this, but I'm pretty sure when there's enough apples, it'll drop like a pallet of apples on the ground right here. Then I'll come by and pick it up and put it on probably the hay racks and take them to town at some point. Uh, but other than that, we have our house over here. A nice log cabin with the uh, garage here. We've got the, uh, what is this, GMC or Chevy? Uh, GMC, yeah, it's the GMC uh, 3500 HD, the Sierra. So, pretty nice truck. I have, I don't think I've used this truck before, so. It'll be pretty nice. We've got a, uh, a dog here, a Halloween decoration, but we've got a real dog over here if he comes over. I'm not sure exactly where he's at. There he is, he's over here. So, yeah, but a lot of fun. I think we're gonna have to go talk to Nate eventually, but I might as well get some mowing done while I wait. We've got a lot of ground to get mowed. All right, we'll hop in here. Uh, let's go hook up the uh, mower. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get everything mowed. Because I've got to leave quick. But maybe I can do a couple headlands before uh, heading over to see what Nate needs. We don't have the biggest mower. I didn't have enough cash for a bigger mower. It's a decent size though. I think it's around 12 feet, 15 feet wide. So it'll get the job done. So we'll head out past all these apple trees here to the hay field. Get the mower unfolded. Turn it on and lower it.
So, boys, well, y'all know what we're all doing up here for? No. Yeah. No, you called not. me and told me to get here, but uh, two for one at Wendy's. Uh, that's Is that what, what we're I'm doing? That, two for that, one. That. A dot, a yep. fat. Mm -hmm. Wow. How are y'all farmers yet? Yeah, y'all don't know what the city's trying to do or the town. Listen, I just got back from vacation. What do you want from me? You think I pay attention to the city? I would uh, if I was you because apparently big people are coming and they want to take all of our farms and make this place bigger. Wow. <laughs> Why? Like, because we, this like, town doesn't make enough money. Like apparently. a neighborhood? Like it's, suburbs? It's like they want to... No, hold on, hold on. You're, they're wanting to take all of our land and yep. turn it into far and turn it not. They want us to take it and turn it into subdivisions. That sounds like we can make money off of that. Yeah, how much they paying? Yeah. Well, so y'all y'all want to know how much we're gonna get out of this? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three grand an acre. Three grand? I can I make nine grand right that. now. I sold a farmer. Yeah, that's all we're getting. Yeah. So it's either that. we. Go in there, and we try to earn the money to keep this town how it is, or we get screwed over. So basically, we need to time? we need to make more money so that there's more tax revenue coming in. Yep. Oh, goody taxes. Yeah. Well, that's how I the city gets money. This town. <laughs> if it's not one. Isn't there just like a petition dollar. I can sign? I mean, can we just go the old-fashioned round of petitions? Like three grand yeah. an acre, though. No. Sadly, not. Try to not grand, do that. The three grand an acre, we can't even pick up and move our farm someplace else. No. Well, not hold, even on, hold on. Three grand an acre don't even pay for one of the buildings on my, my farm. True. You don't even have any buildings, so shut up. <laughs> so, either we all can work together, help each other's farms out so we can get more revenue in, or bye bye. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. You tell me I gotta work with these these. I don't Dodge work with and... that guy right there. Hold on. I gotta work with these Ford people. You say what is this? With the... Trust me, I don't want to do, want to do it either. I'm about well, to say I gotta work with all these Chevy people. Well, I mean, I already have well, him hired as an employee. I don't want to do anything more. Look, look at this Dale and her. Like, who wants to work with him? I, I mean, me? it nobody. Be worse, it could be a Prius driver. True. Exactly. Right, or right, it could right. be whoever drives this right here. Yeah, this what is this? Is what is this? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. I got to ask. Yeah, what is this? What is, what is the Pontiac, bro? Yeah. Well, Are I you a Ford, boy? so it is what it is. I've never seen a farmer drive a Pontiac before. Well, unless it's like a gas saver, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, fair enough. Like uh, the vacation stuff. Right. Yeah. There's something Did like a 500 gas? beer you keep around the farm. This, like, this looks like a city boy car. Oh, for yeah. sure. It pretty much is. That's all this is, a city boy car. Yep. This is not a successful farmer, y'all. This, this guy here baby the grocery eight. store. Man. So, are y'all in or are y'all not? Mm. So, uh, what do we have to do? Just make more money? Is that all we have to do? Pretty much. I've been trying to do that for how long? I was about to say, we've been doing that for how long? I mean, do you not think our goal is to make more money? Like, is there a fund that we have to fund? No, like, no, I want to get less money. Well, exactly. Oh, <laughs> well, the actual Shh. money that we need to make, I have no idea yet. The details of that is still being discussed. So, so put this guy in charge. I ain't I even know. in charge. Exactly. I'm the only one that keeps on the town. Well, I think we need to discuss what we the need judge a new has mayor. in mind. Nate. Woo. Nate for mayor. Nate, should we walk in this building, this town hall building, and find out what's going yeah. on? Yeah, that might be best bet because we got very unreliable sources. Yeah, let's go. Let's go find exactly. out. And I go wow. to the rack in the back even of my truck. Here without me, so. You know, if they buy all my land for three grand an acre, it would be worth it. I want to live near you anymore. Or I was onto something. Thanks for calling us together, Bry. So the the town needs to raise. Three million dollars, it sounds, to avoid these developers from taking over. And so, go ahead. They they want us to pay them three million dollars. So no, we our fund. no, we need to increase revenue for the city, not necessarily like hand them money, but like for example, when you go buy a new tractor, you're buying it from a local dealership. So that's one of the main things that we got to take out of this is we need to buy local. We need to make sure we need to make sure that we're you know, putting back in what we're getting out of the local economy so it keeps cycling here instead of like, we're not going to go 
over to Nebraska or somewhere and buy a tractor because that doesn't help our town. Yeah, they don't, wanna, they don't want us outsourcing. Yeah, yeah, because that's hurting the town. All the outsourcing is hurting, hurting the town and it's causing it to die, and we need to turn that around. There you go. Or, or we get $3,000 an acre and we move somewhere else to farm that doesn't exist these days for that yeah, cheap. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about this. If we all put our money together, we could buy a really nice farm. Yeah, I don't like that. So I don't like that either. Want, you want to force us farm's all gonna be the same farm. size as one of our current farms. Exactly. He just wants us to work for him. Yep. Yeah. Hey, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? No. Think about, no. Think about how fast we'd be done with work. You mean no. you would be done with work? Exactly. No, we'd all be owners. I wouldn't uh, be that much of a bad person. You know that three grand doesn't sound so bad now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not not doing that. No, we need to save our actual farms. I will say that. So, so basically, okay, yeah. in two years, right? It's either we yeah. save them or we don't. Like we'll still get the three thousand if we fail. Exactly. Yeah. So we got two years. All right. Well. So where do we go from here? Are we getting lunch or uh, a two for one deal? Sounds great. Still. It does, it yeah. Does. Yeah, it does. Party at Wendy's? Yes. Yeah, Sounds good to really. me. All right. All right, let's go. I'm not paying. Not, not it. it. Not Wait. it. Chris. I got you guys. All right, That's thank you. a lot you. of hours to pay. It is two for one after yeah, all. Yeah, I'll say you divide it, divide it in half. It's not that bad. All right, guys, we just got back to the farm here. It was nice talking to Chris. I got to get back to this hay field, but I think I'm going to end it here, guys. It's, uh, it's been a long one here. Didn't really do much. Went to town. Heard about that meeting where we have to pay $2 million in the next two years to keep the town afloat and uh, keep our farm, basically, or our apple orchard. So, got to get to work with that. Got to gotta go meet all the other farmers in the area to see what exactly we need to do. But, yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.